Goofy X. Yo, Chicho, what's the geomagnetic storm uh, is about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw some of the Northern Lights last night. So all it is is solar flares are going up, right? Sending um, charged particles, right? Radiation, if you want to think about it, right? So sun has solar flares. And then they send a wave of charged particles out into the the galaxy into the universe outside of the uh, pull you know within outside of the gravitational well it's, it's still inside but it's not affected it's traveling outwards from the sun and earth's orbit goes around it right so comes through sometimes we miss these waves of solar radiation coming out right and but this time we're hitting it and it's supposed to be like four or five six of them or something six big ones this weekend and this charged particles ions hit the earth right but the earth is is a magnet acts as a as a what big wasp <laughs> it's got a magnetic field right so what happens with charged particles inside magnetic fields they get caught up in the magnetic field and they follow the what do they call them the magnetic uh, lines um, field right whichever direction it's going so for example earth mag here's the earth magnetic field is really going like this right from south to north doop, like this let's assume it is right <laughs> if i recall it you call my geophysics correctly so the solar storm hits these magnetic fields uh magnetic uh, uh, these charged particles and the charged particles get caught up in the earth's magnetic field and they get funneled to the north pole and they whoosh, right because the magnetic field goes like this so sometimes you see them spiraling there's spiral magnetic forces but usually you see them streaking across right and because they're charged particles they have colors different types of colors right so um they uh, they light up the sky right they light up the sky it's beautiful i've seen it once in labrador I was on an icebreaker doing geophysics icebreaker during a full crazy time the only thing i didn't have was a dry camp so no alcohol but i was on an icebreaker doing geophysics getting flown up by helicopters like working crazy hours 14 15 16 hours a day 17 hours processing right so you only get minimal sleep right i was on an icebreaker and we knew it was going to be a full lunar eclipse so I went up on top of the icebreaker, had a Cuban cigar, I had, I think it was a Hoyo de Monterey double Corona, might have been, uh, uh, what do you call it, Monte Cristo torpedo at the time, I can't remember what I was smoking, maybe Boulevard Royal Coronas, it was a nice cigar, no, it was bigger, bigger than the Boulevard, it was a double Corona size, right, or a torpedo size, so I, I went up on top of the icebreaker, I lit up my cigar, watching a full lunar eclipse, and spiral Aurora Borealis, spiral coming down multicolored it was trippy it was beautiful it was really nice right so that's what it is 